And then I go in. <laughs> so last time, we learned about the start of World War I, how a Serb assassinated the Archduke of Austria-Hungary. They assassinated Franz Ferdinand. Now you may be wondering, how does one little assassination start a whole world war? Let me tell you. It's a thing called alliances. Wait, I mean, didn't we like kind of just form an alliance? Did we? Yeah, like remember how Ben was like showing aggression during quarantine? He was getting a little antsy and so you promised that you would back me up if he showed aggression again or I would back you up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I do remember this. Oh. Oh, ben, stop that. Alliances. We'll handle this. Lovely. Now that was your hidden gem. Um, why did my sister and I have to form an alliance? That's your hidden gem question. Now, um, alliances were really important in World War I because obviously little tiny Serbia could not stand up against great giant Austria-Hungary. So luckily Serbia had some very powerful allies. For instance, Russia, and then the United Kingdom, and France, and later on the US will get involved. But Austria-Hungary had their own allies too. They had Germany, and they had Italy come in a little bit later as well. Italy kind of flip-flopped back and forth for a minute. But um, as each different country started pulling on their allies, it turned into a whole world war. Now, go through the next couple slides, answer some questions, and then we'll go on to the next part in a minute.